If you own a high level community, then keep watching because in this video, I'm going to show you one of the coolest new features that high level just announced that's going to help you to save tons of time doing one of the most time consuming parts of owning a community posting content. High Level recently announced the ability to schedule your posts ahead of time inside of your GHL communities using Social Planner. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you step by step through how to connect your community with Social Planner, how to schedule your posts ahead of time so that you can focus your energy on growing and monetizing your community. What's up y'all, my name is Ron Medlin and I help online experts build six-figure lifestyle businesses that they absolutely love using GHL and school communities. And if you'd like to get access on our Community Launch Secrets course, where I'm gonna show you step by step how to launch a brand new community and get your first 100 members in just 10 days, then I'm going to drop a link in the description so you can join our free community and get access to that. Now let's jump in the video and let's start scheduling your posts. All right, so the first step in the process is we have to connect your community with Social Planner. So to do that, I'm going to log into my high level account. I'm going to go to marketing in the left menu here, and then I'm going to click on Social Planner. Once we're inside the Social Planner, I'm going to click on the gear here to go to settings, and then I'm going to click on connect social. That's going to pop up this window and we're going to click on connect community. And then I'm going to select the community that I want to connect to social planner. So I'm going to click on add here. All right. So now we've added our community. We've got one last step and this was a little bit tricky at first. So I'm going to go to communities tab here and then you can see that we need to add a user in here. But if we click on the drop down, nothing shows up and that confused me a little bit at first. What we're going to do is I'm going to head over to my community. I'm going to look at the profile, my main profile here, and I can see that I've got little purple brat background in the background there. So I'm going to go back to social planner. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to type in my name. So Ron, you have to type in your name to get something to populate here. And then I'm going to select that profile that I just looked at. Now we actually have a user assigned to that community so that when we post, it's coming from that user. And I couldn't figure this out at first and it was a little bit tricky because when you go to actually schedule your post, you have to select a user. So this is a step you have to do to be able to post inside of your community with Social Planner. All right, so now that we have your community connected to Social Planner, let's actually post some content. So I'm going to click on the back button. I'm going to click on new post. I'm going to click on create new post. That will take us to the editor. First thing that we need to do is we need to select the channel that we want to post this content to. So when we added our community in, it automatically brought in the channels that are associated with that community. So I need to select a channel that I want to post this content to. So once I've done that, the rest of the editor will show up and then we can actually add in our content. So I'm going to grab my post from a document I have over on my other screen. I'm going to click into the content editor here and then I'm going to add some spacing. Now there is a little bit of a bug with Social Planner and posting inside your community. So when you create a post in Social Planner and post it inside the community, which I'll show you in just a second, it does not format it right currently. So hopefully they are working on that bug and hopefully they'll fix it soon. So next thing I want to do once I have my copy in there is I need to, and you can use AI to help you to create this. You just click on that button and prompt it towards the content that you want it to help you create and it will help you to create that post. Now, once we've actually got our copy in there, we need to add our creative. So we can select an image or we can se select a video. I'm gonna select a video here. I've already got this uploaded, so I'm gonna double click on this video here and that's going to add the video to this post. The next thing that we can do is we can add a first comment. So when they, we make this post, we can automatically add in the first comment. So I'm just gonna throw in a link and we can see what that looks like. So I'm gonna do SK call. It's a little text expander I use. It makes it easier, a shortcut to add links. We could also add categories and tags if we wanna keep our posts more organized. The next thing I need to do is I need to grab my title for my post. So I'm gonna grab that and then I'm gonna paste it in. Then we have the option to notify all of our group members of this post. So when I actually click on this box here and check it, you can see that the at everyone tag is now added to the top of this post. And that's going to notify all of our members that there is a new post. That's going to help us get it more reach, help us get more engagement. I've done that several times today, so I'm going to uncheck that for now. The next thing that we'll do is we want to select the communities that we want to post to. So if you have multiple communities down here, you could um, select those. And then remember, the community has to have a user that you are posting from their profile connected to this before you can schedule it. So that's very important. That's why we showed you that in the first step of the process. Now, once you have the post the way you want it, we have a few different options for scheduling it out. The first thing we can do is we can save it for later. 
And what that's going to do is that's going to add this post to our content library in draft mode. And then this is a great option if you want to bulk create all of your posts ahead of time and then come in and schedule them after you've got them all created and in draft mode. So to do that, I would click on the three dots here. I would click on edit. That's going to take us back to the editor. And then we can show you our other options for posting this content. So if I click this button here, the post drop down. We've got a couple of different options here. We've got post now, which I'll do shortly. We can do schedule posts. So if I click on that, that's going to open up this window and I can select the day that I want to post this content. And then I can select the time. So this is going to be 1030 AM on Wednesday. And this is going to be in the time zone of your GHL account. So whatever your company time zone is set to, that's going to be the default time zone that you're going to be scheduling these posts in. Once you have your day and your time selected, you can click schedule post and it's going to schedule that out at that time. Let's click this post again and let's call, let's look at schedule or send post for approval. So if you're working with a team or if you're working with a client, you might need to send these posts to get them approved before you can actually post them. So what I can do is I can select the day, let's say Wednesday at 1030 again, that I'm going to send this to the person that needs to approve this content before it can go out. So I'm going to select the person that I need to send that to. I can add a note. Um, for them to refer to. And then once I've get that set up the way that I want it, I can click schedule and send for approval. And it's going to send that person this post at that time for approval. And then the last thing that we can do is we can actually schedule this as a recurring post. So let's say that you have a coaching call each week, Wednesday at 1130. So what I would do is I would repeat this every week at on Wednesday and I need to select the date range. So the start day is going to be today. And let's just say the end day is going to be several years from now because we want to do this every week for a long period of time. So I need to select the actual start day and the end day. And once I have those selected, I can click confirm. And now we've got our start date, our end date, and then you select the post time and then you schedule that post. So now let's say we had a coaching call at 1130 every Wednesday. This is going to post this post at 1030 every Wednesday, an hour before to give our people time to check out that post and then join the call. So they can click schedule post. And then if we click the post again, we can delete this post also. But let's go ahead and click on post now. And then once we've actually clicked post now, that's going to take us again back to the content library and we can see the status of this post is in progress. Now this is actually pretty quick, so it could it should be like 30 seconds or less and it will change this status to published and then we can actually go inside the community and we can take a look at what this post actually looks like. All right, so now this post is actually published. Let's head over to the community and take a look. All right, so I'm going to refresh my page now. And you'll see when I open up this post, what I'm talking about with the formatting. So I'm going to click on this post and you can see no matter how, what kind of spacing you put in Social Planner, every time that you use Social Planner to schedule these posts, the formatting is currently going to be off. So hopefully they're fixing that and it won't be an issue here soon. But what we can do now is we can come in here and we can edit the post and we can add some spacing. It'll look a little bit better, but the formatting is still just not right. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of spacing here. And then also we can actually add hypertext links once we actually have the post inside the community. So to do that, I can hover over the piece of text that we want to link and then click on the add link button. And then I can add my link in. So I have a little text expander that I can use for shortcuts for links. So I click save. And that's going to make that text now clickable. Now I'm going to add one more hypertext link here. So I'm going to select that text. I'm going to click add link. And then I'm going to link this to our paid community. So this is our SK paid. And then I can click save. And now once we've got it the way we want it, we can click on update post. And you can see it fixed the formatting a little bit, but still not that great. So hopefully they'll be fixing that bug very shortly. So that's how you use Social Planner to post inside of your communities. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to get access to our free Community Launch Secrets course, where we show you step-by-step -step how to launch a brand new community and get your first 100 members in just 10 days, then click on the link in the description to join our free community and get instant access to that free course. And we'll see you next time.